A British adventure pilot who is flying from UK to Australia in a vintage biplane of the 1940s has stopped over at Hindon Air Force Base near Ghazibad en route her journey. Our reporter Nandita Dagar caught up with her. British uh, adventure pilot Tracy Taylor is flying from the UK to Australia and retracing the route of uh, the pioneer pilot Amy Johnson in this vintage aircraft, which is a Boeing Stearman. Hinden is one of the 50 stops uh, uh, en route to Australia. What are the sights and sounds that have enthralled you in India? What is How is it an experience to travel to Hinden? Well, I've never been to India before, so I was hugely excited about this, given the long historic connections with the UK and, of course, the great flying tradition in this country. You know, it's a very well-respected air force. I was told it's the best air force in the world, so it's been a great privilege to stop here at Hindon. Um, I've come so far. I landed at Ahmadabad uh, three, four days ago. We had a couple of nights there. We came on through Jaipur, so we had a chance just to go and see the Pink City, the palaces and the forts of Rajasthan. We came flying past that yesterday into Hindon. My plane is a restored um, 1942 Boeing Stearman, so I had this restored in 2012 for my flight up Africa. So it's basically standard, but I've, I had it modified. I've had extra fuel tanks put in the top wing to give me six hours of endurance. Um, I had a slightly bigger engine put on it, a 300 horsepower, a nine-cylinder 300 horsepower like homing. So it's, it's really absolutely ideal as an expeditionary aeroplane, but this is really my dream machine. You know, to fly this aeroplane, it's the culmination of 30 years of flying vintage aeroplanes. Major challenges or obstacles you faced on the way, Tracy, to Hindon from your Farnborough air base? The main challenges with a flight like this, you know, this is open cockpit, stick and rudder flying, vis visual flying, what's called VFR, which is pretty rare in the world today. So the weather is the biggest single thing I have to contend with. So just flying in India, just this reduced visibility over Delhi, which I know is this time of the year, it's a seasonal effect. So that was quite challenging coming through here. 